Hey guys, it's me, Joyce Jack Rabbit, and I am back with a weekly reading for you. Last week, if you remember, I did sign per sign. This week, I thought I would do by element. Um, the elements are earth, fire, air, and water. So if you're under one of those elements, we're going to be getting at you today. Um, our element we're going to look at today is going to be water. Um, I love water people. They're so emotional. They're so dramatic. They're so vulnerable and yet so afraid to be hurt. They're always so protecting themselves. We have Cancers, Scorpio, and Pisces are under this group. And so we're going to look at what's coming up for you for the week of March 8th. And hey, let me invite you, if you want to understand and take control of your money and finance, your love and relationships, your career, or any other aspect of life that you like, this is the place to be uh, here at All Knowing Tarot, where I give pick a cards, weekly readings. Um, I even like to do celebs here and there. But I invite you to come in and take control of your life and see what the future has for you. That way you get a heads up and a warning or a blessing and you'll know in advance what's coming up. I tape everything uh, every day except for, I think, Sunday. Almost every day. But come in and join us. It would be great. If you like me, please subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. If you want to see a celeb, put it in the comments. I would love to do, uh, I love doing celeb readings. They, they make me laugh. They're just so interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at our water. What's going on with our water signs for the week of March 8th through the 14th? Our Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer people. I love water signs. <laughs> it's funny too because I'm a Gemini, I'm an air sign, but I really love water signs because water signs tend to really be in love with being in love they really do and they really take it quite serious and they're they're so vulnerable and they try so hard to fi uh, hide it but you can see it you can always see it what's coming up for my water people this week what's coming up for water so i changed my station a little bit i think i'm gonna like this though it's got more room I can spread out a little bit. I was feeling kind of hemmed up before. Okay, what's coming up with water, folks? Hmm, I'm going to put that back. Come for the water, 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 water. All right. And let's take a quick look at you water signs signs it might be a little bit uh, bumpy this week first of all I see the eight of swords here so you are clearly feeling stuck um, the reality is you really aren't stuck if you look at this card she really can walk out of there the wrappings around her are like tissue paper or toilet paper so she could rip those off she is not really stuck she just believes in her mind that she's stuck and she needs the confidence and the self-assurance to say I'm not stuck I don't I don't like this I don't deserve to be the in this here we have the world card and usually this is a really nice card like you have the world at your fingers but oftentimes for me when it's around here with the this eight of swords let me get it right here so you can see see that this says I'm done with this I not doing this anymore I don't want to do this anymore I want to get out of this I want to move away from this and there you are with the chariot 
saying, you know what? I am reclaiming myself and I'm getting my power back and I'm getting out of this situation, this mindset. And it doesn't have to be a place. It doesn't even have to be a person, but it's, I'm getting out of this. I don't want to do this. This is this. I've just had enough of this and I'm moving on. I also see there's two younger people. Knights are usually young men or young women. One is an earth sign, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. One is a fire sign, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo person. It could be. And there is some problems there. And there's some arguing in this week. No one is going to get like hurt per se, because here the guys are battling and struggling, but no one is getting hurt or hit over that. They're just getting bopped with sticks and actually nothing is really landing. So this tells me there's some harsh words and it could even be between these people and you find yourself caught in the middle of it. And really you're not caught in the middle of it. You have the ability to walk away and to leave all that. It looks like there is going to be a bit of confusion this week trying to deal with these two individuals. You're not stuck. It is that can end. There you have right there. It th This negativity, this arguing, this drama can end. You have to just choose that you want it. And when you choose that and you claim that, this goes from being the end of something to the beginning of something. You got the world by the tail. I can call my own shots. I can be my own boss, my own person. I can make my own decisions. And you've got the chariot there that says that you have the ability to walk away or move away in a positive way. And you have choices. You can go left or right. You have choices of where you want to go or what you want to do. You are not stuck and no one can really hurt you. You've got two major arcana cards here the chariot and the world and that tells me that you are actually protected you have to stop making yourself a victim um is that a you thing is that a water element thing but you're not a victim you need to get out of your feelings you need to get self-confident safe self-assured that says i don't need this i don't need this bs i don't need this in my life i like peace and harmony and I like to live relaxed and cool and chilled. And I like water and I like sunsets. And I need that showing up in my life. Um, but these two, th there's challenges there. These could be your two children, your two sons, your two daughters. These could be coworkers. These could be relationships you're in. But you're going to have to uh, either make a choice between the two. Because that is not so much you arguing with them. It's them between themselves. You're going to have to get control of that and say that's enough. If that means in your family, get them to knock it off. That is enough. We're done with that. We're not doing that. And start talking about respect and how we treat one another. Or if it's a relationship, you got to make a decision. Either for one or the other or neither. Or maybe you want both and then make it work. But... You can control this. You are not the victim at all. And they don't see you as the victim. And although they want to care for you and take care of you, but when it comes to people, often people will compete with each other to see who's going to win. And then they win you. And then what do they have to offer you? Not a whole lot. I would tell you to either choose and, or move on and leave that drama alone. You do not need it. It is not worth it period. Um, and if it's your children, you are the adult. Put your foot down. I don't care whether it's girls or boys. It doesn't really matter when it comes to the night because these are young guys. Put your foot down and say, nah, I don't want to deal with you. I'm really not that interested. Or decide which one fits you best. Let me just take a quick look. There you are. That tells you, make the move to move on from that drama. Then you'll be on the right path. It's right there. You're on the right path. Every This angel card confirms all of this that says you're on the right path. When you get out from behind these this toilet paper, step out of these um, knives that aren't even closed up and 
they don't even have you trapped you're on the right path and speak up for yourself and say that's enough of that bs i don't even need that drama and move on out of it you <coughs> excuse me <coughs> you have the potential to have a wonderful week this week you really do because it's saying you're on the path <coughs> the right path you've got the world you got the chariot that says i got options i am not stuck i'm not anybody's fool and it's telling you you don't need this bs right here i don't need that either you guys get it together or get on i got other things to do with my life have that confidence and that self-power and make it happen for yourself water signs have a wonderful week and remember if it doesn't resonate with you keep what you can use and throw the rest away but i have a wonderful week next new next week bye now